A hidden field is a way of recording information about your prospect in your autoresponder that they don't directly enter. For instance, let's say you're running ads to your landing page, and in the URL of each ad you use a tracking code, like source equals ad1 or ad2. You can use hidden fields so that anyone who signs up after coming from this ad has ad1 recorded in a field of your autoresponder. And this means you can see the precise conversion rate of all your ads, because you know exactly where all your leads have come from. And that makes it really easy to see which ads you should scale and which you should drop. This is of course incredibly valuable, especially because you're not limited to just one bit of information. So how do you set this up in Convertry? Convertry can populate hidden fields using query strings. A query string is something that gets added to a URL in order to pass data. So this here is a query string. This bit is called a parameter or an argument. And this bit is the value. You can have as many of these on a URL as you want. Just start the first one with a question mark and put ampersands between each one. So the first thing you need is somewhere in your autoresponder for them to go. You can set these up just like normal fields, but you need to make sure they are text fields. Some autoresponders have specific hidden field types. Don't use those as they normally can't be picked up by the API connection. Make sure the type of the field is text. If you're using an API connection, you can set fields to be filled by query strings by setting the type in the form setup modal. So first, select the form you're attaching to the page. Then, for the field you want to be populated by the query string, select query string from the options in the list, and then enter the parameter you want to populate the field in here. So here, we've told Convertry that the add source field in the autoresponder should be filled with the value from the source parameter. So if someone came to the page via this URL and submitted the form, add one is what would be entered in that autoresponder field. You can also use hidden fields if you're using an HTML form. After you've selected which form you're attaching to the page, select query string arguments. Enter your parameter in the box at the top and then click add. You can then choose which field in your autoresponder it should submit to. And that is all you need to do. Now this is important, whether you're using an API connection or an HTML form, you do not need to add anything to your Convertry page. They're called hidden fields precisely because there is nothing on the page. When you've got this set up, Convertry will automatically take the value from the query string, find the right form field to add it into based on what you've set in the form setup, and then submit that along with all the data your prospect has already entered on your page.